So to log in to Perfect 365 Pro, just simply enter your email address and your password that you registered with, and you will be seeing this intro screen right here. So this is just um, letting you know that we created two quick videos to help you out. So if you're um, pressed for time and you don't want to watch this entire series, um, then you can watch these two videos. They're very quick and it will help you getting your digitized looks up in no time. But if you feel like you need more of a longer educational program, then keep watching the series. Um, so what I'm going to do first is show you guys how to create your first look. So this is definitely, um, this part of it is definitely geared more towards a counter artist. So if you work at, let's say, Chanel Counter, this part would be for you. What you're going to want to do is, let's say a client walks up and says, hey, I would like to try on a look for a wedding. I'm the bride. I have no idea what to do. So this is a perfect, perfect opportunity to get this client into your pro system. So what you're going to do here, there's a little icon here with the outline of two people. It has like little cartoon peoples on people heads on there. So what you're going to do is you're going to tap that and it's going to bring up, for you it's going to be a blank contact list. For me, I've got contacts in here. I've got all kinds of people that I can send looks to. So there's your list of people um, that you're going to create. So you can either create a group you can call it brides, or if you work for several, if you're a freelance counter makeup artist, maybe you want to create a group for each counter you work for. Maybe you work at Chanel, maybe you work at Bobbi Brown. Before you can create groups, you need to create a contact list. So to create a new contact, what you're going to do is, at the very top here, it says create a new contact. You're going to tap that. You can import the contact from your phone if you already have clients that are on your phone and you want to import those in, you can do that. Or you can just create new contact. So you're gonna uh, type in first name, last name, phone number, if they want to give that to you, email address, um, there's notes. Now the notes part is really cool because you can enter specifically things about that client that, um, makes them special from all your other clients. That person could be a bride with a wedding coming up in August and you maybe you know the exact date so you can type in Brianna's wedding is on August 22nd. I need to also do her hair. That would be a great note to put in there to help you remember who this client is because I know counter artists work with many many clients every day. Also you can put in their payment information, which means uh, not their credit card number or anything like that. This is to help you keep track if they have paid a deposit or if they've paid full, men, full payment for maybe um, if you have a freelance. Sometimes people that work at counters do freelance work outside of the counter. They can also keep the information in there about the payments. So hit the back button to go back. What you want to do also, if that person is a bride and you've done a trial on them, on their face, you can put the photos in here. So maybe you've done two trials. Maybe the bride wanted to try a look with pink makeup. You want to take a picture of that, keep that in your file. Maybe she wanted to try something with a bright red lip. Take a picture of that so that you have all the reference photos under their file. Also a good idea is to take pictures of the products. Now, a lot of times when I've done freelance weddings, um, I would have a whole mess of products laid on the table and I'd have to write down every single product. It would take me forever. Instead, I can take a picture of it and I wouldn't have to do anything else. Just one little snap and that's it. And maybe write a couple notes in the notes section and it really, really helps. So once you've written your notes, you can hit the back button to go back to the screen again. Uh, the next is facial features. Now this can help you a lot if you want to follow up with this client to try to sell them other products. Let's just put it out there. We want to sell products to these clients for the rest of their lives or the, <laughs> the rest of the time that you work at the store. 
So what I like to do is I like to say, let's say they have um, a long face, their skin type is oily, their skin tone is medium, and their eye color is, I wanna say, dark brown. You can save that. So what that can help me with is say that I work at a counter and we come up with a product for oily skin. I can find all my clients with oily skin, give them a text, say, hey, guess what? We just got a new product in at Chanel that's for oily skin. Would you like to try it or would you like a sample? Do you want to come in and try it out? This really helps me figure out what customers need what and how to get them back in the store to see me again. So it really, really helps. So let's say you're a freelance artist and you work at two different counters. So you work at Chanel and you work at Bobbi Brown. So this is one of the scenarios where you can get your clients really, really mixed up. So what you can do is create a group. So what I'm gonna do is tap on groups and create a group. I'm going to input in Bobby Brown. And then right below that, it says add members. So what happens next is your clientele list will show up. So make sure your clients are already in that list before you create the group. It's very important. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add myself to all of them because I don't wanna interrupt anything here. So I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add three clients to the Bobby Brown group and then I'm gonna hit okay. So already it adds the three members to the group. It will help me go ahead and hit save, remember to do that. It's going to really, really help me categorize all of my clients and it's all organized so that when I need to get a hold of my Bobby Brown clients for an event, I will just click on the Bobby Brown um, button and I can contact all my Bobby Brown clients. How great is that? It's really gonna help you get those slots filled for events quicker, trust me. So let's say you're a freelance artist. Well, you're gonna do the same thing. You can create a group for August brides. You can create a group for July brides. You can um, definitely have everything organized so that it makes your life much easier. So you're not writing everything down, losing paper, losing little you know, receipt, back of receipts, phone numbers, that kind of thing. This is going to take the place of all that mess that's stuffed into your wallet or your purse or wherever you put little pieces of paper. Really helped me out. So let's go ahead and create a look for a client.